Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I, as we all know, Halloween is getting quite close. And I have seen a lot of challenges on YouTube at the moment, where a lot of artists, they, they pretty much use every orange art supply that they have in their collection. So I decided I was going to copy, because that's just what I do. And I was gonna do the same, except my orange art supply selection is not that great. That's all I have. I don't have a lot of orange art supplies. So I just have to make do with what I've got. So, oh, roll away, why don't you? Oh, roll away again. I decided I'm going to draw a picture all in orange, obviously. And I'm actually using this cardboard. Um, I thought it was a nice color. It's actually, it's actually coffee. <laughs> it's made a coffee box. Um, I looked in the box and thought that is a really cool color. So I thought I would cut it up and use it. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work against the orange uh, supplies. I'm not too sure. But um, no, I actually don't drink coffee because I'm quite high strung as it is. Um, my partner, he drinks this. He loves this stuff. So that's where it came from. So I've already sketched out a little idea here. First of all, actually, first of all, we here in Australia, and I think I've mentioned this before, we don't celebrate Halloween. Um, there are a lot of people that like to have parties and there are a lot of people who like to walk around to door, you know, door to door and collect candy. Um, but yeah, we just, as a whole, it's just not very big here. Um, it'd be nice if it was, but yeah, it, Halloween is just pretty much nothing. I've already sketched, I've used my Norris orange pencil. Um, to sketch a little bit of this out, but I wasn't really impressed with with how it actually came up on on this So I'm gonna put that aside now on this side. So when I use them, I'll transfer them from this side to That side So I'm gonna do that outline. I actually wasn't going to use a black outline um, I was gonna try and do it all in orange but I've done a bit of a trial run and I don't actually like the way all these colors sit together without line, a line break in between the colors like a black. So that's why I've decided to go that way. Well, I'm done the outline with my uni pin fine line. It's waterproof, fade proof. So now for this picture that, um, today, I'm keeping it extremely simple. Um, I've done a few big pictures that have just taken me way too long lately and I just sort of just wanted to keep it a little bit simple um, so this is gonna be nothing spectacular so if you're looking for something amazing then I probably wouldn't watch this and some of my lines are not the best at the moment for some reason I'm suffering from a bit of shaky hands I don't know why I don't know where it's come from but it's really making my art, my line art suffer. Yeah, screwed up already. Line is not going to be there. The poor little tortured pumpkin. Right, can we see? Oh yeah, because this paper's got a bit of shine to it, so it's not the best. I've used shiny paper before, and it just did not show up on camera. So I've already used that, but. I could use it again. So now what I might do is I might use my little Stedler light orange and I might do the um whatever you call these things. My mind's gone blank. This is a water-based marker and it's uh it's actually tearing it all up and making my so-called waterproof marker smudge smudgy smudgy I'm gonna use my other darker orange Stedler 
watermark water color marker and I'm going to do a bit of shading here and there's no blending with these you can't really blend I use my Faber Castell CX color pen I'll just use a bit of that to do some of the color variation in the stems there See how this looks doing the eyes and hair. So this looks really good. Not totally loving that. I I actually swatched all these colours out too before I started this. So that's a really good idea, just so you know um, what each colour looks like. And these two colours are pretty much the same. <laughs> I probably don't even need to use one of them. I'm going to keep. I'm probably going to keep vermilion. Uh, on the actual pumpkin, I'm using my 23 orange. So that was my touch five, 23 orange. And I actually like the way the texture is actually coming through from this um, cardboard. I realise I've missed a bit. How embarrassing. Layering is not working overly great, so I might have to go over that with the darker orange I'm thinking. Yeah, because that really hasn't done much at all. So now we're layering with my plot. This, yeah, I'm using my 14 vermilion. Just layering, blah, blah, blah. layering it just to see it come a little bit darker and it has, which is good. So now I'm using my Faber Castell connector pen in orange. I think I'm gonna have to do that mouth black. If this is not cheating, leave me alone. This is a necessity. But don't you judge me. And I'm doing the bats black too. Because I want to. Once again, leave me alone. I'm not cheating. This is not cheating. So now. Um, moving on to the highlighter, I'm just going to give some lighter coloured areas to the pumpkin. I don't really know where to incorporate this in, into here, so I'm just probably going to just colour in a bit of the floor now. Ho ho ho, we've got some acrylic paints. Oh, where's my paintbrush at? It's so water. Alright, so ooh, this is my orange acrylic. Uh, Marie's acrylic colour. I don't know if you can get that anywhere else in the world. I know you can get it here in Australia. Ew, that's very eye popping. Now this acrylic here is called the Million. I'm going to pass it off as a very ready orange because I have my Touch Five marker is orange and it's called Vermilion. So I'm going to use it. So I'm going to add blood to this picture. So once again, not cheating and don't judge me. Oh my god. Look how happy this pumpkin is. He's so happy that he's bleeding from the eyes and the mouth. And some of the little pumpkins got blood on them. Whoa! And lastly, of my orange art supplies is my orange gel pen, which does not appear to be working. This is my Schmiggle gel pen, and it's not working. No, it's brand new too. 
No, it's not gonna work. Bugger. Alright. White gel pen. Did it. I'm trying not to get too excited with the white gel pen too because I tend to just lose all sense of everything when I'm using a white gel pen. Like I got something in my brain just tells me to use more. And there we have it. There is my very simple, very creepy Halloween picture that I made with all my orange supplies. And it was simple, like, yeah. I did it on coffee cardboard, for God's sake. <laughs> and I even painted my nails orange too, if you didn't already know or notice. <laughs> Hope you all have a happy Halloween and I will see you guys in the next video and also if you want to make little felt patterns um, for Halloween um, my Etsy shop I'll put a link down below has got everything that you could think of uh, when it comes to creepy Halloween toys um, so yeah just head across there and if you want to make your own toy I have the pattern in my shop. See you next time. Bye!